What if you could easily lend and get credit against your CryptoPunk or other NFT projects without selling? Currently, NFT holders are facing a utility problem. Despite their high valuations, the capital in NFTs is locked unless they sell their NFTs. This is where you find JPEG, a lending protocol aiming to bridge the gap between DeFi and NFTs. In this video, we clearly explain what JPEG protocol is, the problems that it solves, how it works, their tokenomics, and much more. So, let's get right into the video. Before we begin to explain the main JPEG features, we encourage you to check the description below the video to join our Telegram news channel, where you can also visit our website for more information to stay up to date on what's going on the JPEG protocol and the latest launch updates. The NFT market is huge, but still untapped in terms of utility. Being able to use your piece of art to get a loan is revolutionary and easy to grasp if you are already familiar with DeFi. JPEG wants to bridge the gap between DeFi and NFTs, and then you will be able to understand how they aim to achieve it. JPEG is a decentralized lending protocol that enables borrowing against NFT as collateral. NFT holders will be able to obtain credit on their assets while still retaining ownership of them. In general, NFTs are liquid assets. That's why JPEG has the goal to make NFTs more useful than just showing off, buying, selling, or holding. Initially, CryptoPunks and Etherox will be the only collections supported by the project. Others, like Bored Ape Yacht, will follow later. However, their vision is to expand also beyond just JPEGs, as it's stated in one of their Medium articles, wherein they mention that their vision for the future sees the NFT space expanding to music royalties and albums. As mentioned previously, the NFT market is becoming the driving force behind DeFi, but NFTs are still illiquid assets. The market has trouble pricing, and it's currently impossible to take a loan out against an NFT. The JPEG protocol transforms CryptoPunks from static investments into yield-earning products. JPEG will try to solve this by turning JPEGs into income producing assets that are valuable outside of the speculative value of the image. JPEG is the governance token. Stated on their website, it's described as a valueless governance token that has no economic value, but you need to know how to read between the lines. There's a popular meme in the DeFi space around governance tokens, where people like to call them valueless. This meme spawned from when Andre Kronhe launched Wi-Fi because he called it valueless. And then we all know what happened after that if you take $10 as Wi-Fi's starting price. The total supply of JPEG will be 69,420,000,000, and the token split is presented in the diagram. DAO, 35%. Team, 30%. Donation event, 30%. Advisors, 5%. It's important to note that the team and advisor tokens are vested for two years from the date of the donation event, where the six-month cliff and tokens from the donation event are fully unlocked. The donation event finished this week and they managed to raise roughly 72 million US dollars, an amount that will be used to provide liquidity and resources to the DAO and the protocol. Besides governance, JPEG tokens provide other perks. The team will enable staked XJPEG token to share the protocol's revenue and VJPEG locking slash staking module for NFT lenders, enabling increased credit limits on loans by locking the JPEG token reduced interest rates, or other mechanisms that give the token utility outside of pure governance. It's important to understand the lending protocol mechanics and how interest will work, collateralization limits, and liquidations. There is a problem with NFTs, as the crypto space has no reliable method to determine their market price. To solve this, JPEG already confirmed that Chainlink was building a custom price oracle to track the CryptoPunk's floor in ETH. Imagine a CryptoPunk holder who wants to borrow up to 33% of the oracle price. The holder will deposit his punk as a collateral into a vault and be able to mint PUSD. 
the DAO will initially seed liquidity for PUSD among a basket of other tokens in order to peg its value as close to $1 as possible at all times. A liquidation occurs if the loan-to-value, i.e. the ratio between the loan and the CryptoPunk's oracle price, reaches the threshold level of 33%. In other words, if someone borrows $50,000 against a floor punk with a 33% collateral factor, if floor goes below $150,000, this punk gets liquidated. After liquidation, the DAO will take away ownership of the NFT and may choose to either hold the NFT in its reserves or sell in the market. Thus, the DAO uses the treasury to pay back the $50,000 and now owns a punk worth $150,000, which he can either sell for a 3x on a secondary market or OTC, or keep in the treasury. It is important to keep in mind that liquidations won't happen in most cases, because to further protect NFT holders from losing their valuable NFTs, the DAO provides insurance options for 1% of the loan amount. Therefore, in case of liquidation of insured NFTs, the user can repurchase the NFTs by repaying their debt, accrued interest, and a 25% penalty on the outstanding loan. All loans on JPEG will be over-collateralized, meaning that the protocol will have the funds to liquidate set aside from the start. So, raising $72 million in the token sale greatly accelerates JPEG's capacity to scale up fast and to generate a shitload of revenue because Treasury will be able to perform liquidations, and these liquidations will drive a lot of revenue to the protocol. JPEG is founded and advised by some of the most tenured, knowledgeable, and reputable people in the DeFi and NFT space, such as DeFi God, Tentra Node, Chad, DC Investor, and others. They have also formally announced their planned integration with DOPEX, Olympus DAO, Apricadabra Protocol, and launching a token reactor for a fruitful future and deepening JPEG liquidity. As you can see, JPEG is founded and backed by big names in the DeFi ecosystem. The JPEG protocol is already built, audited, and they are internally testing and finalizing the UI for the protocol. At present, they have some plans for the JPEG protocol are as follows. Liquidation-free vaults, more utility for the JPEG governance token, additional NFT collections added to the protocol, permissioned liquidators, exploring a decentralized perpetual futures product on key NFT collections. JPEG team has announced that they are still working on integrating BAYC to the protocol and anticipated they will finalize shortly after the formal launch. As they launch formally, they will add support for CryptoPunks and Etherox, but they are also exploring NFT projects like Azuki's, CloneX, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, Parallel Cards, and others. As such, each of these integrations will require bespoke decentralized price feeds too, so JPEG has the opportunity to keep bridging the gap between DeFi and NFTs. Remember, as we mentioned earlier, their vision is to expand also beyond just JPEGs, as it's stated in one of their Medium articles, wherein they mention that their vision for the future sees the NFT space expanding to music royalties and albums. The NFT market is becoming the driving force behind DeFi and JPEG team, aim to build a DeFi public good that is decentralized creates a novel use case, and generates value for the crypto community. They saw an opportunity within the NFT space and had the idea to combine NFTs with DeFi. To be quite frank, the NFT space is quite simplistic and underdeveloped, and seeing the DeFi big brains step up the NFT ecosystem is a good thing. In short, JPEG wants to bridge the gap between DeFi and NFTs, turning JPEGs into income-producing assets will start a new boom in DeFi 3.0. We hope you enjoyed our overview of JPEG Protocol. If you did, please feel free to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any concerns or questions, please feel free to drop a comment. We're more than happy to reply. To learn more about the future plans of JPEG DAO, join our Telegram news channel and visit our website as that's the best place to reach us. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.